Hey guys, it's Jess and Tyler. And today we're gonna to talk about some cool, fun things to do if you ever find yourself in Wichita Falls, Texas. Or if you ever stationed here at Shepherd Air Force Base, because that's kind of why we're here for tech school. So we're just enjoying the town and exploring. So we wanted to tell you guys some of the things that we found. There's a bunch of coffee shops here. It's, uh, there's a lot of college students because Midwestern State University is here. Um, and we've been to a bunch of them. Um, we went to Hobo Coffee. That was, that's super eclectic and very, like everything's vibrant there, really bright. And it's in a shipping container, which is kind of fun. And they have really, really bright drinks. So we got a Frappuccino and that was, what was it, blue? Yeah, I had like blue <laughs> chocolate syrup. It was really good. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. It's outdoors too. So you want to go if it's nice weather. And then we also went to Collective. That's one of my favorites. It's super trendy and just really fun. It's actually, it's, it's a newer one up here, but it's made out of a, an old gas station. And so it's a cool building. It's super cool. Mm -hmm. And then there is, there's 8th Street and that's downtown. And that's a fun one as well, but a lot louder. So more of like, if you're wanting a louder atmosphere, but they all have their own kind of a vibe in them, but it's cool. We got to explore some neat ones. Mm -hmm. And then there's Frank and Joe's, which is really close to where we're living. And it's really nice and quiet in there. Um, def it's like a huge tribute to Wichita Falls. Go read on the wall, it's pretty cool. <laughs> That's um, the one that I've been working at because it's a nice, quiet environment, like you said. Yeah, and the coffee's really good too. Probably my favorite mocha I've ever had. <laughs> And there's also the Duck Coffee, which is downtown as well as 8th Street. And it's really good coffee, veteran owned company, if you're into that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we also found an awesome church up here that we are loving. So if you're here like long term, we would totally recommend One Life. It's been, it's a smaller church, but it's a really, really neat community. There's also the world's littlest skyscraper, which is a fun piece of Texas history. It's hilarious if you go check it out. Make sure you read about it. Um, yeah, something to, to visit and say you've been to. <laughs> we found some fun restaurants here as well. Um, the first one that I think we tried was Half Pint and that was really cute. It's a pizza place and they also have drinks there. They have this really cute fireplace outside so you can go sit around there on the patio or inside's actually really cool too. It's an old building and so the brick's really neat in that building. Yeah, they have really good pizza there. Yes, let's go check it out. There, There's also um, Hook and Ladder which is another one that's downtown as well and they have pizza there as well. But Hook and Ladder is cool because they, they make their own wine and they make their own coffee. They have their own roasting. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. so, so just different environments. There's a really cool, not local place, but mm -hmm. we hadn't been there before called Crumble Cookie. They change up their menu every week. So if you have their app, you can see like which flavors of cookies or which type of cookies they have that week. And it, it's weird. When you walk in, it feels like an Apple store, <laughs> but it's a cookie place. So it's kind of cool. You can order on an iPad in there, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, we got, oh, well, we got four cookies when we went, and so we tried a bunch of different ones. They're really big. Yeah. And they're warm. <laughs> yeah. We found this place called Clink, which is in this really cute building. It's kind of like an Instagram sort of a place where um, they have flowers all over the walls, and then there's also just like, well, basically the lady explained it as like an adult Bahama Bucks, and so they make really, really cute um, like dessert drinks type things, and they also have brownies, they have cake balls, and all different desserts. That was that's really cute in there. Super girly, but kind of fun. My personal favorite thing about being here is actually the farmers market they do every weekend. Um, they just have a bunch of local vendors. We've met uh, a really cool guy who does microgreens. I didn't know what they were until he taught us what they were. Wichita Falls has like a ton of really cute parks as well. And so I've taken Bubba over to Hamilton Park, which is fun to go walking over there. And there is like a loop that goes all the way around. So you can like, you can start at Hamilton or at any of the parks really and loop around. And it's, I think like 25 miles, it's pretty long. I don't know the exact mileage, but. It's a long like walk that you can do, um, or run, but 
<laughs> if you're Forrest Gump. <laughs> um, but you're in the spring, and so everything's really green and pretty. So there's trees everywhere, and it's just really pretty. But um, there also is a park called Lucy Park that we went to. Um, the Wichita River is right there, and there's a bridge that goes right over it. It's like a chain link bridge, I think, right? I think so. so. Call it. But it, it's kind of scary, kind of fun. Um, the water is like brownish red. And you can take that, there's like a loop around, you can take it all the way over to the Wichita Falls waterfall. The empty waterfall. It's great. <laughs> it's man made, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> So if you're feeling really adventurous, you can take a weekend trip up to the Wichita Mountains, which is about 60 miles north, um, up in Oklahoma. Definitely recommend that. That's one of my favorite hiking trips. There's bison everywhere. There's still a lot of really pretty hiking that you wouldn't expect to be right here, mm -hmm. but it's pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Definitely recommend going up there if you have the, the chance. Well, that's Wichita Falls. <laughs> that's been our our experience in Wichita Falls. Those are some of our favorite things so far. Mm -hmm. Make sure to leave a comment below of your favorite things to do in Wichita Falls. And yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Do we even say the dog park? <laughs> every city has a dog park. And it's not even a nice dog park. <laughs> like, take your dog to this great dog park. <laughs>